This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, Unit 3, Animations and Games, Lesson 12, Keyboard Input, Part 7. Move in all directions. Once you've got your sprite moving in one direction by responding to a, down, to a key down, getting it to move in all four directions should be more of the same, hopefully. The basic keyboard control that you're developing here will become the basis for many of the games you will be making down the road. Woohoo! I can't wait till that, the game making. Alright, do this. The bug sprite you made that responds to the key arrow has been brought to this level. I didn't make a bug sprite, they provided it, but that's fine. And the, and the interaction for the other three arrow keys. Oh, add the interaction for the other three arrow keys. Okay. Um, and with enthusiasm, I guess, because of the explanation point. Add three if statements, one for each arrow. All right. Don't forget to include a comment for each if statement. Uh, they want us to include comments. And remember, comments are really great for programmers. You could leave them within your own code to remind you of something. It's also helpful when you have multiple people working on a project to kind of know what they did and why. Um, and it is important to get into the habit of using them. So we will definitely do that. We're not going to forget to include a comment. Each if statement should move the sprite in the direction of the arrow. That makes sense. Hint, make sure you consider both the axis X or Y of movement and whether you need to increase or decrease the value. Alrighty. And then this icon means that this level is part of a large project. Changes will be saved across these levels. Cool. So we're going to be building something that uh, takes a few steps here. All right. I'm going to shrink that all down. So we need to add the other keys. What do we have so far? I'm going to go in and test this by hitting run. Oh yeah, our boring bug. And left, if I hit right, oh yeah. So if I hit right, our bug goes, well, right. And they want us to add the rest. So remember, all draw function is being run constantly, right? Now that it exists, it just keeps going and going and going. So it clears out our background and says, are they moving? And if not, it draws our sprite at 200 and 200. And then it runs it again, like 40 times a second, maybe. Maybe more. So it is constantly looking for, well, key being pressed. So this kind of gives us a hint. We are going to use another couple if statements. And by couple, I mean three. And they already gave us right, so we need... left, ah, left, up, and down. I was going to make this left, this is up, and let's change this to down, there we are. And then let's think about this. I need my grid, handy dandy grid, and which goes where? Well. So for our bug to move left, to move this way, if you look at the X, notice below the reset button, watch my X. So I'm at 201, 155, 105, 60, and almost 3. So for it to go left, I think we need to subtract from X. So let's look for this orange, uh, this orange, uh, this purple thing, and I'm going to drop that in there. I then need my sprite, my property for my bug, which is the X property still. I need to name that bug because we don't have a variable sprite. We have a variable bug, as you can see in line one. And then I need to go to math. We're not going to add now, though. We're going to subtract. We add because going left, X increases. I mean, going right, X increases. Going left, X needs to decrease. Let's go back to our sprite, grab this again put in the variable that we're actually using, which is bug. And if they're adding two to go right, let's go ahead and subtract two to go left. And let's test this out just to be safe. Oh yeah, backing up. Woohoo, we're getting there. All right, key down. Now we're gonna be on the Y axis. So watch my Y. Right now, way down here where my mouse is, I'm at 395. How about here, 212, 98 and three. So if we increase y, which way are we going? Well, we are going 
down, right? Because as I go down the screen, notice 235, 300, 388, Y gets bigger. So to increase, I'm going to start with that then. I'm going to go to, I need uh, this purplish thing again. So under variables, X. I'm going to put it in both of these because I think I will need it in both. And then I need our sprite. And I said Y. So I need Y here. Now I'm going to go to math. And if we are increasing Y, for Y to go up, we are going down. So that is going to be down key up. And let's see. For Y to be going down, right? If Y starts at 300 and we go towards 0, that is going up actually on the game board. So when we subtract from Y, we would be going up. Now I need to go back to variables and get our, oop, nope, I meant sprite, and get our sprite at Y for both of these. And here. And here. Okay, now let's change out the name. Bug is the name of our variable. Bug. Bug. And bug. And then let's go ahead and keep it at 2, right? To go up, we subtract. So subtract by 2. And to go down, we add, I believe. Let's test this all out. So I'm holding down, and thankfully, I am going down. Now let me hold up. Put uh, up to the left, to the right. Looks like we have it. Ooh, look, now diagonal if I hold two keys at once. Make sure you consider, yep, each statement. Perfect. I think we um we have it. So we just had to add a bunch of if statements, but this was the code that ended up working for me. Let's see if I can fit it all. Okay. I, all I need to do now is add my comments. Move left by subtracting from x. And this just kind of tells other programmers what we're doing. Move up by subtracting from y. And move down by adding to y or to the Y property I could put. Right, so some comments. That's what I have. I think we are going to be, uh, well, good to go with our moving bug. Great, let's keep going.